Good morning. Very early Saturday morning. It's about 5 a.m. I'm headed back to Sydney uh, this weekend. Just going to be gone a couple of nights. And while I'm down there, I'll try and find some space to do what I think is a really important um, topic to, to, uh, to deal with. So here I go. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy this uh, walk in the garden this week. Well, made it to the airport. You know the drill, long-term parking, bus ride, domestic terminal, um, and uh, the trip to Sydney. So I'll save you all of that. Uh, but hang around because uh, I think this is gonna be a good one. All right, talk to you soon. G'day, I'm Roland Hearn, and this is a walk in the garden. Well, from the beautiful blue springs of uh, New Zealand last week, to uh, the suburbs of Sydney on this beautiful, glorious winter's day in this very leafy suburb of Birong. Uh, I thought I might get a chance to get down to the harbour to do my walk in the garden this week. But as things have turned out, I'm here just not quite long enough to make that work. So I saw a park just down the road here, and I'm headed down there to, uh, to do, a, do my walk this week. <clears throat> and I've got something I want to talk to you about. It's been on my mind for a little bit. It's, uh, it's one of the struggles that we, that we have, that we all have, uh, that I just want to um, say something about uh, today so uh, it's not far away and we'll get into it so <clears throat> Here's what I want to talk about today. Manipulation. You know, that feeling that uh, somebody has um, pressured you or squeezed you into doing this something that you don't want to do. Or perhaps even something that you would like to do, but they haven't given you the chance to do it. They've, they've manipulated you to get you to respond. It doesn't feel good, does it? Well, let me just talk a little bit about manipulation. It is probably true that you have not thought a lot about the subject of manipulation. I dare say you know when you've been manipulated, but you've not probably not thought a lot about the mechanism. You probably thought about it even less when uh, you're the one doing the manipulating and if we're honest we have all actually uh, Been in that space where we've Manipulated somebody else to do something Without necessarily even knowing that that's what we're doing What makes manipulation? Work, how does that how does it work? well the fact is we connect a person's performance or potential performance to their worth um, or to or even more compellingly to our relationship with them for example a common manipulative phrase is if you really loved me then you would fill in the blank now not every manipulation is as, as uh, obvious as that but 
the truth is that manipulation always relies on us connecting our worth to somebody else's expectation of our performance. So when a person's manipulated us, we find uh, that our sense of self and our sense of our worth is, is declining against the measure that they, that they have imposed against us. Um, or, so they have a certain expectation of what uh, would be desired and, um, and we are being drawn into performing in a way that's, that meets that um, expectation and we attach our worth it with to it. Without our worth being attached to it, we are we are not manipulated. Uh, it is always um, manipulation always works um, in the context of our worth, and con uh, um, and the other side of that is our shame, the extent to which we feel worthless. So that if we didn't perform adequately, uh, we connect our our worth to not performing adequately. The way we resolve that tension is we seek to perform in a way that um, that meets that expectation. So uh, whether it's doing a certain task or doing a, a task better, uh, our worth is attached to that task or to the relationship. That's manipulation. We've all experienced it. Um, we've all, as I said before, we've all uh, we've all probably done it. Uh, we are innately aware of uh, how that mechanism works, and of course, it has to do with our shame. It has to do with our sense of identity, our sense of worth. As I've already said, you put all those things together: identity, worth, relationship, performance, and you have the shame construct. So, how how do we effectively respond to manipulation? It's very difficult, actually. But it, it first of all relies upon us understanding our worth independent of, of our actions or our performance. And being able therefore to say to somebody, no, I can't do that or I won't do that or, or that's as, as well as I can do that without sensing um, an inadequacy or a need to justify ourselves. You can actually tell when um, shame is at work in, the, in this context or when manipulation is at work is um, you find we, we will find ourselves making excuses uh, and the more a person makes excuses or the more we make excuses for our performance actually the, the more we're responding to our shame in that situation and that's the space uh, that manipulation um, works in so a person says to us um, can you do such and such and and we feel like well if I say no then I'll feel bad about myself we'll feel bad about ourselves because we connect our worth to to their their perception of us, um, and so therefore we we uh, do what we're asked to do asked to do even if um, we aren't able to do it. Uh, we 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 say yes to that because we connect. We've made that connection. So coming to a place in our life where we realise that my worth is not connected to my performance, that if I say no to somebody about a situation. Um, whether they accept it or not, that's not that's not a different defining of, of who I am. That's about their struggle, um, and being able to be okay with that. And that doesn't mean we don't ever explain things or or we don't ever help another person understand why we can't do something. Of course we do, because that's just being loving. But when we reach that point of feeling like I will be thought less of if I don't um, perform adequately that's when we're struggling with shame and that's where the manipulation piece works. So having a clear sense of who we are and being able to be okay with people feeling bad about us um, uh, whether or not they know the reason. Sometimes you can't share reasons with people and being able to be okay with yourself in that situation needs to be where we are. So have a think about those connections and how, how much it drives you to do things that you may not even want to do um, in order to save the relationship or restore the relationship or, or gain acceptance or um, be seen to be adequate. All of those things are connected with that space. The second thing I want to say about manipulation is um, it becomes really important for all of us 
to become aware of the language you, we use when we're trying to manipulate somebody, somebody else. And uh, we may excuse ourselves because we know the ultimate goal, um, and maybe we think the ultimate goal is a good thing. But when I'm using language that uh, connects that person with what uh, I want to see achieved, um, that person's worth with what I want to see achieved, then, then we are manipulating them. And if we get pushback in a situation, um, it's really important for us to, wait, to ask ourselves, okay, is that pushback coming from the way that person perceives themselves in relationship to me? And so uh, um, I dream of a world where uh, we're able to just uh, ask each other um, for assistance or help or whatever the context might be, and we're all able to say yes or no, um, regarding uh, relating to our, our capacity, not to our worth. It's probably a, a dream maybe that's too far away, but one by one, we can all learn how manipulation works in our life and disconnect our sense of worth from our performance. It's really important for us to do if we're gonna join, journey successfully through this garden to the goal of the, the beauty of the relationships that we believe is possible. Well, thanks for being with me in this, on this beautiful day in this beautiful park in suburban Sydney. Um, this has been uh, a real thrill, thrill to be here. So uh, until next week, keep walking in your garden.